Shield Helicarrier, this is Fury. Hill, are you there? Here, sir. Listen, we've located our silver friend. We'll bring him back to the carrier. Doom is taken off with Loki. That's a bad match. Bad for us, I mean. Can you locate them? We can. Just like you can track me anywhere, apparently. Uh, they're headed out to sea, sir. Contact Professor X and see if he can spare some mutants to help us track down all of Doom's associates. Yes, sir. Yeah! Whoa! Ooh. Shield research submarines are extremely useful for taking the fight to bad guys while underwater. These subs feature advanced tracking equipment, ideal for locating enemies or items of interest. Where exactly are you sending me on my date with Thor? A shield research submarine. A research vessel covered with weapons. Well, that's deceptive labeling. Uh, that is not our research zone. Don't tell me. You got here on a really long spider line. Uh, no. You're not the only one that can fly. Compliments of Mr. Nick Fury and S.H.I.E.L.D. You know, I could fit you with a rocket-propelled iron suit if you like. Hmm. Sounds... heavy. Yeah, is it the maid's day off? What a mess. Good afternoon everyone, it's Mike here again with the um, latest episode of my LEGO Marvel Super Heroes playthrough. This is That Sinking Feeling. Um, so we join uh, Iron Man, Thor and Spider-Man on this random Doctor Doom boat in the middle of the sea on the hunt of a uh, shield submarine. Um, as we head through at well, we're on the tail of Doctor Doom, on the tail of Loki. Um, so, yes, it's, of course, that means we're going to assault the place and blow everything up. In true superhero style, of course. So, I really hope you're enjoying all this. Um, I'm getting some good good likes and good views on my, on the LEGO episodes so far, so I'm really hoping that people are enjoying this and people are consistently watching. So, if you do like this, please do hit that, mash that like button as much as you want. Um, the more likes I get, the more visible my videos get, the better it works out, and you know, the more I'll do a series. Um, the two of them standing there for. Um, and also, obviously, if you like, really do like what I'm doing, please do subscribe. Um, because you know, I love subscribers. Uh, sorry, so at this point I'm playing as Iron Man and uh, Emma is playing as Thor. Uh, and I'm working out this little puzzle here. Uh, one of these kind of, if you remember, pipe dream from back in the day of early Windows. I'm probably showing my age a little bit there. Um, but yeah, connecting the lines, as it were. Which connects the power, which opens up this area because it puts out that fire so Iron Man can cut that door down. Now, uh, I will admit that we got really stuck on this level. Uh, I've cut about 15 minutes out of it. The one area where we just sat and we had no clue what to do. And it's the most really obvious thing in the world. Um, because the thing is, you get so many characters in this game, you kind of forget who can do, can and can't do what when you're just kind of playing it. Um, so yeah, there's a couple of boxes later on that Iron Man has to destroy. Um, and I really just completely and utterly missed them. <laughs> it was literally about 20 minutes. It's the most embarrassing thing ever. So, right, okay, so Spider Man pulls these down. And then it connects the water to there, which then will put out this fire down here. That 
a, a magnetic thing there for a Magneto to open, which I think that's the Stanley in peril in this level. My spider sense again. What is it? So you hit your spidey sense here, and then it reveals something that Spider-Man can hit, which will pull, the, allow you to put the fire out and progress. Kind of player, but it helps. Good job, so, by the time you're watching this video, um, there will either be no time left or very little time left to enter my competition to win a copy of this game. So, I hope by this point you have all entered. Um, oh, yeah. I'll, I'll, Regardless of how, however long it takes this one to go up, um, I'll still put the link in the description. If it is the 1st of June 2014 or beyond, then sorry, you're out of time for the competition, but if it's still May, uh, by all means enter, just watch the video, answer the question, and hit that subscribe button, and then you'll be able to, in the running, to win a copy of this game, or whatever format you want, um, and it's out for all of them. Xbox One, 360, PS3, PS4. PS Vita, Nintendo 3DS, Nintendo Wii U, and the PC. So <laughs> you get your um, your pick of the bunch, as it were. So all you do is just um, answer the question and tell me which format you want it on. Uh, but obviously, if it's the first of June or beyond, then I'm sorry. <laughs> Simply enough. Uh, right. Okay. So you just got to go through here. Uh, if you have, I believe that's a Captain America switch up there. Yep, that's a shield switch. Right, yeah, so it's just it's kind of just beyond this point where we got stuck. So we deal with these guys that come here, um, and we then just completely got lost. So in about 15-20 seconds from here, I'm going to uh, transition it to the point where we worked out what we were doing. Um, I, th I think we were playing this quite late at night, actually. I think we were both tired. Possibly there were beers involved. I know it sounds weird playing a kid's game on beer, but hey-ho. So there we go, we transition there, so the boxes on the top of this little boat here needed to be destroyed. Uh, so you can activate the crane, which will move on. So it's Tony, it, it's Iron Man that does it. Uh, you have to use the X or square attack. Uh, okay. You just kind of lock on each one and fire. And then there's the um, Thor switch there, so Thor needs to charge up. He charges that up and then it enables this. Sub. Oh, yeah. You have no idea how happy we were with ourselves when we found this, and then how annoyed we were that we hadn't spotted it before. <laughs> oh god, it was a nightmare. Literally, it was about 20 minutes. We just sat there and we just could not work out where to go. Uh, right. Okay. So, yeah, we enable the switch, and then Tony hits the button. And then we get remote control access to this little sub, which is pretty cool. Um, what do you have to do with this? Oh yeah, I have to engage the power. And then it creates a bridge across there. Not the hardest puzzle in the world. To be fair, the bit before that we got stuck in shouldn't have been the hardest puzzle in the world, but it was. Um, yeah, so progress across here, and there's a thing for Iron Man to blow up there, because you can tell by the sparkly gold. Gold! 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 Yes, I went to Spandau Ballet. I went there. Uh, right. Build all the bits, and then Thor can charge that up. At this point, Emma's still playing as Thor, I'm still playing as Iron Man. I'm always on. My character's always on the left of the screen. And then the gate's open. Oh yeah. Come, Iron Man, and human and we can progress the uh, to the strangely, I think it's a it's a mid-level boss fight actually. If I remember rightly, and I think it's a pretty terrible boss, all things considered. These floating Doctor Dooms are here. All right, the mini kit. Yeah, this is the boss room. I am Modok! I am designed only for conquest! Not 
Nothing can penetrate my psionic force field! Don't ask me who he is, because for the life of me I can't remember who he is. <laughs> actually, while well, we're actually fighting this guy, I can't remember his name. It's a fairly robotic name. Where's the one we call up on the screen? Nope. There, but when I'm recording this commentary, I'm, uh, I'm mute. Odoc, oh, that's it. <laughs> I just have to go to Wikipedia to find him. Uh, right. So, yeah, he just wait for wear himself out. Kill the guys and then rinse and repeat. I say he's not the most inspired boss fight, but it's fairly annoying. I am not done yet. Just kind of have to avoid that laser. I mean, it can do enough damage to kill you, but obviously in a, in a game like this, it's really inconsequential. You always keep collecting studs as you kill them, things. Yeah, and most people, most people don't realise it very rarely actually comes up. You um, you can only get, you can actually get a game over in this. Um, basically, every time you die, you lose a few studs from your total. If you that studs gets to zero, you get a game over. You say you can't like that many times. The game is such a rare thing; it actually happens. Um, I haven't the, the Lego games I've played. I've played a few of them. I actually haven't don't think I've ever had it. Um, but it can happen, so it's worth bearing in mind. God, this fight goes on for longer than I remember, actually. He is taking his time. He's nearly done, though. He spits out the lava next, and then he falls to the ground, and then you whack him. Whack, whack, whack him all. There you go, that's Modoc done. And Dr. Doom stealing our sub. He just stole our sub. I cannot call down any lightning inside this vessel. We're trapped. Worry not, Thor. My telekinesis can separate water molecules. And Jean Grey to the to the rescue. <laughs> that still looks like a shark. And then it's brought down by falling girders. Okay, so now we're underwater here. Now this is a little bit tricky if you're playing two-player. Because you can only go where Jean Grey goes. And she doesn't automatically follow you. So, it took, again, it took us a couple of minutes to work out what we actually had to do here. Um, and I haven't cut this bit as well, so you probably want to see all of our ruminations as we work out where we need to go. But it's actually, if you look just under where my heart bar is, uh, there's a glowing thing over there. Spider-Man has to go over there. As you can see, we can only go to the edge of where Jean Grey is. You kind of have to coax her to where you need to be. You can't take control of her either. You can't go down there. Although, strange enough, Tony Stark can fly underwater. If you have Wolverine, you can dig him there, but that's obviously free play. So at this point, we're just kind of ruminating about and trying to work out how who we needed to use. We didn't actually think to look to the uh, left side here. 
We just obviously see the door. Like the might of Mjolnir. Actually, I'm not under. Well, technically, I'm not underwater. It's an air bubble. Oh god, I'm so thick. <laughs> Don't even notice things when they're right in front of me. Yeah, I really should have cut this here. However, it's already cut. I'm commentating. I'm far too lazy to do that. It would make sense to do it, but I'm just being far, far too lazy. <laughs> um, you can see the kind of logic that, that we apply here. That we know we have to go through that door, but we just don't, can't work out how to get there. And it's just really infuriating, like knowing, having known how to do it now, watching us just kind of bash our faces off the glass trying to do this. Oh. I think I had to uh, consult a walkthrough here. I will admit to it. Come on, we're on the right character. Just in the wrong place. Oh, this is torture. I'm sorry I'm making his watch this. You should probably skip ahead a couple of minutes. <laughs> now you see, we had Jean Grey in the perfect position there. Oh no, it was Thor that was smashed. Oh, it was Spider Man. Oh well. Yeah, smash the crap out of that. That's even. Even knowing there was something over there, I still got a bloody one. <laughs> oh god, I'm a dildo. Alright, uh, what's he building there? Is that then something for Spider Man? It's a big starfish. Yes, that's something for Spider Man. Spidey says something close by. So it doesn't look happy, does it? And Doombots. Doombots everywhere. Okay, we're running, we're ahead. Okay, so now this is, is actually frustrating, but getting Jean Grey to follow us. Okay, so you can't take control of her, so it wasn't, wouldn't be a case of one of us could just move her and the other could just control another character. We both have to kind of coax her to follow us along, and she doesn't follow along that readily. And she gets stuck on environment. Proper AI fail. My cat's scratching at my door trying to get in here, and it's it's not going to happen. If you if you watched um, the second part of the X Men level, the last video uh, Lego video, no, the second last video I uploaded, you'll you'll know how annoying. It can be when she's attacking me. Or was it the... Was it the X-Men one? No, I forgot what I can't remember if it was... Nah, no, I can't remember. I'm tired. It's been a long day at work. <laughs> I'm killing myself at work and to try and keep up with this. Because uh, I'm... I'm starting a new series, so I've just got South Park the Stick of Truth sent through. Uh, and I'm wanting to get this commented on and uploaded in the next few days, like the rest of the whole game, um, so I can focus on doing South Park, because I'm not going to upload or edit any South Park until I'm finished editing and uploading this, because I don't, I mean I'll be playing it, but I don't want to, um, I want to do a series at a time, I, mean, I know I'm doing Hearthstone at the same time, but, you know, it, it makes sense in my head, alright, shut up. <laughs> Um, yeah, so this is just progressing our way through here. He's just got to reach the sub, and then that brings to towards the end of the level. Is it, the only frustrating part is that it's... Um, oh, this is for Iron Man. Um, is getting Jean Grey to follow you. Boom. Then Thor to break that. Iron Man needs to shoot that over there. The octopus or a worm thing. Um, as you shoot the scenery, as a G Grail follows, which will knock over the pillar and allow us to cross over. 
because it's gold, you gotta use the laser. It's also moving, so it can getting your laser to stick can be a little bit tricky. But we get there in the end. And then Spider Man. That spider sense again. What is it? Spider Sense can magically see that, which makes no sense to me at all. But it, it's a children's game, I'm not gonna complain. Even though I just did. Alright, so you run across this pillar and then I think this is almost the end of the level. Spider-Man just fell off there. Sam is always good for a whacking. And that would be it. That sinking feeling done. So, who do we get for this level? Got AIM agent. Modoc. And that's it. Uh, did we get True Believer? No, we didn't get True Believer in this episode. Alright, well thank you for watching, uh, like I say, if you're enjoying this video, uh, please do give it a like, uh, and please do subscribe if you're enjoying what I'm doing, and stay tuned for the next part of LEGO coming very, very soon. But for now, good night.